seven times and the Lord said no 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 I want to show you the unlimitedness of forgiveness he said tell 70 times 7 teaching you and I as people of God that the Lord is long suffering long suffering to you and I not willing that any should perish and the Bible says in one place because sentence uh, is not executed speedily against an evil work uh, that men's hearts are set within them uh, to do evil uh, because the Lord didn't cut you down the first time uh, because God didn't cut you down the second time uh, or the twentieth time uh, you thought you got away uh, you may get away uh, you may get by but you will never get away uh, because the long arm of God is going to meet you one way or the other. And when God Almighty here decided that Israel was not going to heed the warning, then the Lord turns around and says to Ephraim here, said, I want you to know Ephraim have turned to idols and said, I want you to let him alone. And therefore, I don't want you now to read the law to them no more. I don't want you no more to conscious to bother them. I don't want no more prophets going out trying to prophesy to them. I don't want nobody in my spirit will not anymore dwell with them. Whenever God backs away from you, I want you to understand there is no hope for you. Whenever God backs away from any child, when God backs away from the backslider, when God backs away and said, let him alone, there ain't nobody but nobody that's able to reach out and lend you a helping hand. For you have sunken to the depth you have sunk to the depth of sin and nobody can reach down and pull you up when God said let him alone Lord I want you to understand some of us in here tonight Whoa. we feel like God has said let us alone yeah. we feel like God has turned us loose well. somebody said sometimes they'll not come to church and can't feel nothing sometimes they'll not get down on the floor and then I try to lay there and pray. I, I can't feel nothing. Uh, Sometimes it makes me wonder if I have committed the unpardonable uh, whether I've gone too far or not. Well, I'm going to tell you the longer, the more it takes you and the longer it takes you to get in touch with God. That means the more stuff you got piled upon you. The more stuff you pile upon yourself. It means it takes you that much longer to plow through all that mess before you can get in touch with God. It takes a long time to get through all of that stuff. But way back by and by you finally get through and you get a little buzz and you feel a little quivering and a little shaking and you say thank the Lord that I haven't been rejected as yet but I want you to understand one thing tonight because you are still feeling the presence of God this is what makes you know that God haven't given you up yet for when God gives you up you talk about being dirty and nasty and low down. Some of you are low down now. But the only thing that stops you from going worse than you actually are is because God still has his hand. Yeah. The mercy of God is still there. The teaching that your mama and papa put down in you. The word of God that you heard a long time ago is the only thing that's keeping you from being so low down that nobody can get along with you. Say, so, yeah, Elder, but you don't know how I curse. You don't know. You don't know how I beat my wife. You don't know what I'm doing with the money. You don't know how nasty I am. I'll know one thing, if you were that nasty and low down and dirty, you wouldn't be here tonight. Lift your hand and say yes. Yeah. If there wasn't a little spark 
gleaming and inkling and glittering somewhere. Um, you wouldn't even have a mind. They couldn't have drug you in here tonight. Uh, for whenever you have been totally rejected of God, uh, I'll hear the word of God saying it's impossible uh, to renew him unto repentance. Uh, it ain't no way, no way to get him back to repentance uh, once that individual becomes a, re a reprobate, uh, so corrupted in his mind uh, that nobody can help him. Uh, but I want you to lift your hand right now and say, thank you, Jesus, uh, that I, I, I'm still here, um, uh, that you're still dealing with me. Uh, say it again, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. that you're still dealing with me. This is the reason why I said uh, that God Almighty gave them a long chance uh, to get themselves together again. Uh, and it was not until they had turned away uh, from 250 long years. Look at them. Uh, they didn't have one king to sit on the throne that was any count. Uh, for 250 long years, ungodly men leading them uh, down the ungodly path of unrighteousness. Uh, and when the Lord had had this cup filled up to him. He backs away from him and said, let him alone. Said, Israel, Ephraim have turned to idols. And said, Ephraim also have mixed itself in with the people. And they said, Israel is backsliding now like a backslide in heaven. Every time I keep on bringing her back, she goes back again. Therefore, 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 I'm backing away from her now. Whoa. And I'm declaring right now to all of you everywhere. Whoa. Let her alone. And you said, now what, what does this heifer business mean? Whoa. I better tell you about this heifer right now. Because my friend, the word of God, has a little bit different interpretation of a heifer than you think about a heifer. For a heifer in your mind is a low down, no good. Uh, tight dress, mini stress, uh, tight skirt, low, uh, low cut bus showing woman uh, who's uh, stealing her husband's uh, and shaking her hips uh, and flapping herself around uh, trying to steal somebody's man. Uh, and anybody's husband she can get a hold to him she don't care as long as she can say i got him that's what you call a heifer in your mind a heifer is a low down no good a hip shaking mini skirt tight dress wearing woman but listen let me tell you something in the word of god he calls a heifer a little something else here for the lord is talking about a cow you said well some of these women are cows too well that's all right add in what i said a tight dress low bus cutting wearing a cow call her whatever you want a cow but god said the lord called and said that 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 a heifer is one of those cows a baby calf that when they put the yoke on him said when they tried to teach him how to plow the straight furrow said he had turned over and pulled to the left and plow up the green beans and when the game started again he had pulled over to the right and plow up the taters and the maters and somebody said oh said, you can't do nothing with that heifer said because it just won't straighten up. You keep on pulling the other way and pulling the opposite direction that you want to go. And God said, this is the way my people are. Said, I tried to get them to go right and they turn left. I tried to get them to go left and they go right. I tried to get them to go straight ahead and they're backing up on me on every side. Therefore, the Lord said, I'm going to wipe my hands. I'm going to back away from them now and I'm going to tell you let let that heifer alone and I want to declare unto you tonight that you better get it made up in your mind that a woman and a man can be a heifer a man can be a heifer as well as a woman so don't get it in your mind that it's just talking about some no good woman but it's talking about some old man that's chasing every woman up and down the street and every time he see a skirt his 
gums are popping and he's licking his chops off of every young woman that he see every time he see somebody looking kind of good his eyes start popping and his neck start jerking you would think he had a crook in his neck you think he had a jerking neck the way it makes some of these women make him turn around but I want you to know you're gone too far when God Almighty keep on stretching his hand out when God continue to try to get you to straighten up when God try to get you to set your house in order and you won't set your house in order the Lord said let that heifer alone let him alone He's made up his mind uh, in the direction that he want to go, uh, and I can't do nothing with him. Uh, I, 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 I stretched my hands forward all day long, uh, and I've tried all day, uh, and I've tried all night uh, to stop him from going in his ungodly ways, uh, but he's already made up in his mind. Uh, it's a bad thing. Uh, to turn your back on God. It's a bad thing for God to wag his head on you. For when, whenever God backs up on you, when God wags his head on you, somebody said, I'm tired of these old saints coming to my home. I'm tired of these old missionaries talking to me. I'm tired of them keep on trying to get me into the church. Too bad am I. You got a mind. You got to give an account of the judgment. You better mind. You better be glad. You better be glad that God's still laying you on somebody's heart. You better be glad that somebody's still knocking on your door. You better be glad that somebody's still praying for you. You better be glad backslider some of these backsliders got a nerve to get mad because God is prevailing with him because God is prevailing with him I heard him when he said my spirit will not always strive with man I won't always be trying to get you to come back I won't always be trying to get you to straighten up my spirit won't always be dealing with you. Sometimes you can't sleep at night. You're turning and twisting from side to side. You can't understand. I'll tell you what your trouble is. God is still dealing with you. God is troubling your mind. Trouble, trouble in my mind. Trouble, trouble in my soul. I couldn't sleep a week last night. I'll tell you why. Because God haven't called you a heifer yet. But when God Almighty backs on away from you, and when God calls you a heifer, when God begins to shake his head, when he backs off of you, he's going to tell his preacher, don't preach to him no more. He's going to tell his missionary, don't go by the house no more. He's going to tell his prophets, don't prophesy no more. He's going to withdraw his spirit. Some children get mad. Say, I wish my mama would leave me alone. It'll happen after a while. Your wish going to come to pass. Because some of you are so low down. Some of you are mean to your mother mean to your father some of you are cursing right and left some of you stay out all night long some of your finger popping popping your fingers all night doing the twist doing the jerk doing the monkey at the wild at the wild God said God gonna say let that help her alone you ought to be glad that God's still dealing with you. Now, you ought to be glad uh, that somebody's calling you. Uh, somebody. I heard the man say uh, when he found himself going down slow. Uh, going down slow. Uh, said, I, I, I've had my fun. Uh, if I don't get well no more. Uh, said, please, uh, 
write my mother. Tell her to pray for me. I'm going down slow. My body is racked with pain. My mind is frustrated. My mind is all confused. Oh, all of a sudden, he got himself together. And I heard him say, somebody, somebody somewhere must be praying for me. Somebody must be calling my name. When I was over in New York shooting that dope, when I was over in New York sniffing my hair on, when I was over in New York shooting my cocaine, shooting my cocaine, shooting that hair on, shooting that marbine, drinking my liquor, somebody, 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 somebody was calling on the Lord. Somebody said, Lord, save that young man. Lord, bring him in, Lord. Hey, I'm so glad God didn't turn me loose. I'm so glad God didn't call me a heifer. Hey, oh, somebody. Somebody, somebody, somewhere must be praying for me. When you see me going down, pray for me, brother. If you see me staggering, pray for me. If I stump my toe, pray for me. Well, well, well. The Lord, I don't want the Lord to shake his head on me. I don't want the Lord to back away from me. I don't want the Lord to call me a helper. Oh, I don't want the Lord to tell the preacher, let him alone. I don't want the Lord to tell the personal worker, let him alone. Oh. When God calls it quits, ain't nobody can help you. <laughs> Lift your hand and say, yeah. yeah. Say, yeah. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes.